everyone. Kylie, you're my assistant, come here. Okay, well, Kimberly and Kendall, just so you know, Kylie was asking a lot of questions about periods. The time has come to talk to Kendall and I could just tell Kendall is so uncomfortable, but this is nothing to be embarrassed about. This happens to every girl. Now, when you first start your period, you use a pad, okay? Kendall is squirming and just kind of sinking back into the couch. She's trying not to look in my eyes. She's trying just to look down at her hands. Once you become a little more comfortable with your body, what do we have, assistant? A tampon. What does a tampon do? It soaks all the blood. Good job, Kylie. And it doesn't hurt. It, it doesn't hurt. like it hurts, but it doesn't. This Nothing little sucker, hurts. not so painful. Okay, we're gonna show you a demonstration. It opens up like a flower. It catches all the blood, see that? So the blood does not leak out of you. Kendall is, you know, a little bit uncomfortable with the subject, but I think that either way, she definitely learned something and knows that she can always come to us when she has any questions. Kendall, are you okay? You breathing? Everything good? Yes. Okay, sex ed is not over. We're gonna watch some home DVDs. Since my sisters and I are trying to teach Kendall and Kylie about their bodies and all this kind of stuff, we think it will be really fun if we watch Kendall's birth video. Push. Okay, Kendall, now these are your older sisters, okay? And someday you're gonna look at these pictures and you're gonna say, oh my God, look how young they were. There's mommy and daddy. Okay, water broke. I'm gonna hold it. Oh, oh they actually kissed. Let the air out. Let the air out and push it down again. Push it. Right. Push it. Ah! No. How gorgeous is that? Hold on, let's take a picture. Yeah. Say one day we're to... One day we were to uh, stumble into some kids. I want them to be athletic. Because they're already going to be short because of you. They have to be, like, really fast and athletic then. They're not going to be short. Maybe you're 5'3". I know, but you're 6'9". So that, like, evens it out. So the... I mean... I know my little sisters are tall, but if the girls are like six feet, I'll kill myself, unless they're skinny models. <laughs> I can't have any Amazon kids running around. Like, Chloe and Lamar's kids are gonna like beat me up when they're born. Hey, we can't let Mason get in our pool naked anymore. It's I don't just, know why you're so jealous of Mason. It's just a matter of time until he drops a bomb in there. I don't know why you're so jealous of Mason. You are. I'm not. I love him. He's but, such a cute kid. But I love him and I love you and it's like a different love. What's going to happen when we have kids? You might get jealous. <laughs> so we have something to talk to you about. What? Well, I want to show you some stuff. Come over here so I can show you some pictures. Uh oh. <laughs> we went to your house and we took a bunch of pictures of your lawn and all this stuff. Remember, I'm not supposed to be involved in this. I know you're not. No, we, this is we just... Keep it on the DL. You got a Sharpie? This is all hypothetically... This is if, hypothetical. If, if you were if to I know anything, anything about this. This is... Yeah, right. this is how I would do it. I would go a putting green right down this edge and then right down into this little corner down here. It comes around like this. In this corner, sand trap. Oh. Chris is going to lose her mind. Theory, you this is big. I would put two chipping areas. One chipping area, like way over here. Oh, so you're, oh, okay. Well, we got a water hazard, a pool. That's a big area. Well, yeah, it's big. But literally, Chris will not have any grass. Oh, yeah, yeah. He wants to have a putting green, a chip and putt in the backyard, and he should be able to have that decision without having to ask Chris. And he makes a lot of good money on his own. It should be a, a balanced relationship. All right, see you guys. I think it's gonna look great. I'm a little nervous to do it, but I think that it's something that has to be done. This thing is a lot bigger than I was thinking. Here. Rob ended up not getting on the plane from Paris to Florence, and he got on a flight all the way back to Los Angeles. I just can't believe he's going to miss Kim's wedding. I mean, this is something you're never going to be able to see again, and it's upsetting. Hey, I'm going to go to mom's room. 
when Rob flew to Paris. He read some nasty comments about himself and he just didn't feel comfortable and he didn't want to see all my guests and it makes me so sad for him. It's just, it's heartbreaking, it really is. And I just, I don't even want to think about it. I don't want to talk about it. Today is my wedding and I don't want to cry. I just want to, you know, have it be a happy day with amazing memories and we'll talk about Rob when we get home. I told them tiny. I mean, if you could make it smaller, if we have time, I'd like them both smaller. Okay, I like really small. Yeah. Do you think Kim is nervous? I don't know. Would you be nervous? No, I think I think I'd be more excited than nervous if it was the right person. I guess. Do I'd be nervous if if I didn't know. If it wasn't sure. That's a lot of pressure on you and everybody watching you. Yeah. That's one of the reasons I think me and Courtney don't get married. It's just too much. It's just like, there's just a, it's all this. Too many people all trying to help, like, I'll grab it, I'll grab it, I'll grab it, and I like, leave my on. I'm always like, leave yeah, yeah. my do you know how much drama I've been through over the last month about my hair, ponytail, no ponytail? I mean, the list is going on and on and on. Let's be honest, it is Kim's day, you know? Let her pick the guy who's gonna do the ponytail, the hair and makeup guy, everything. We want the pictures to be perfect. You both look like one of those guys, Marie Antoinette. I like it. Not to be crazy. Let me get rid of the this. The cars look a little bit too much to hear. This could be you, Scott. No, thanks. Kylie's hair is still blue, and she promised me she would put extensions in to cover it. It's just not worth the battle, and I'm just gonna let it go, and she has blue hair at my wedding. I think we take this out, and we do it more down behind the ears, like all of it. It's time to walk down the aisle. I can't keep people waiting. It's taking forever to put this veil on. It's so heavy. The veil is so heavy, it's gonna smash it around her face. It's gonna do different things. Yeah. I love this long, huge veil, but it's the only thing that would make me trip and fall right on my face. And it makes me so nervous. Are we ready? So, I don't know if I can wear it. We have this great urge to get out of the house. Yeah, I always have an urge to get out of the house. I just want you to know, because you know, I've had... You've been through it all. When you're older, and you're my age, the most proud thing I am about my life is the great kids I've raised. Yeah, no, I know that you've been through both. I mean, and you miss some times. I've been through everything. With, your, with um, the other boys, and, and now you know how important, but at least you're making it up now, which is awesome. Bottom line, that's what life's all about. Kind of that next generation. Yeah. You know, and that's important stuff. And the little tidbits you can give them to help them make them a better person. And you never know when those times are gonna come that you can do that. So you gotta be around all the time. Because as time goes on, and the kids start growing up, it only gets more and more difficult. I get it, I wanna be there. And the kids are old enough, they know now, you know? You know, I definitely realize that this is one of the times that Courtney needs me the most, and I want to give her everything that she deserves. It's just been a very big struggle with my own stuff, and I wish I could throw it out, but I can't, but I'm gonna do everything I can in order to get back to where I need to be, and I really just want Courtney to be happy because she deserves that. I thought it was gonna be, like, way crazier with three kids, so that's why I was running out the door, because I was scared. But now I realize it's not so bad. And it's not just what you do, it's just being there. Right. Like, Dad's here. Right. You know? I mean, if it's only two and a half hours to get home, better I get home tonight than wake up tomorrow, get traffic. Yeah. I'll ride home with him. You're going to leave I me live... just like that? You can't take another ride with me? No. Is that what you're trying to say? Do you you wanna... didn't enjoy our ride up here? Do you want to drive me home? Scott take can take you. Oh, yeah, see how fun. easy that was? Bruce. Brad. Two in the pink, one in the... <laughs> Zinc or whatever you said. I don't know what you said. 
No, you're right. One in the six. This is so crazy. Don't jump down on me too hard. You know, we wouldn't be good daughters if we didn't, you know, just sit you down and see where your head is. Whenever. I'm, I'm ready anytime y'all ready. Have you ever been to jail? Nah. I ain't Mr. Perfect. None of that type of stuff. No. Like, no trouble that's a disrespect or a threat to another human. But don't with me. You and I are basically the same age. Have you always been attracted to older women? Since I used to hit on my second grade teacher. <laughs> but it's not even an age fact, it's just a connection. Do you want to get married? I don't think love is measured by that piece of paper because I know people that are not married that's strong as hell. So you don't want kids? It really does not matter because, listen, I've raised some kids in my time. Who have you raised? My niece like, and nephew. Oh. So if I don't have kids and the love is still strong, yeah. and we got the friendship, like the current situation I'm in, then I'm cool with that. Yeah, so yeah actually, I'm not, her shop is closed. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I'm not going to miss I think out. he knows that. Yeah. <laughs> when you met my mom at that party, like, what made you want to go up to her? She had this nice-ass dress, and she was looking good. I waited till she, you know, was kind of off on her own. I came up and started talking. We started talking. Then I asked her to come up on the little stage and dance, so we started dancing. But then oh, other so people... Oh, so that was the move. Do you want to dance? We was talking, then oh, I like she that liked she the dance. loves to dance. I like that she danced. We liked the song. But then I just tried to say, you're beautiful. I, I love to get to know you. And it went from there. Oh my god! I like to see the way you light up when you talk about her, though. That's cute. That's a pretty big smile. <laughs> Kim, have a great birthday. I love you, Daddy. What is that? This is a box that Grandma Lou gave me. Do you think Chloe would mind if I posted this? <laughs> So she's got five home runs. She's cutest on the team. Cutest on the team? <laughs> that is so funny. <laughs> Would she just die? <laughs> I'm going to send it to her. What did you think, Chloe, Courtney, when Connie's popping in and out? What, what did you think was going on? I mean, I was there for a lot of it, and I just... I don't know, like when he came to Dash that time in New York and saw our store space, like nothing was really going on, right? Yeah. It was no. just like. I mean, it was friends. at one point and then it stopped. What, you what know changed? How it is. Because there has to be, there's several moments to lead up to it, but is there a seminal moment where you felt like it changed with him? Right before I got married to Chris Humphreys, we were like talking and I just went a different direction. Hmm. And I think I had to go through that to figure out what I wanted. So while you were getting married to Chris, he was pursuing We you? were friends and we were talking, yes. Talking or pursuing? I don't really know. I can't remember. I really don't <laughs> the know. The other thing was Probably only 72 all days. Yeah? Donde estas? Wait, what are you doing here? What? Are you kidding? No. We have a dinner date, you and I? I totally forgot I made plans with Scott. I have pregnancy brain. Okay, but... I'm allowed to forget. Cancel him. I'm your sister. You live with Scott. I know I'm telling Chloe that I don't want to have dinner with her because I already have plans with Scott, but the truth is I just don't want to have plans with Chloe because I hate the way she treats Scott. I get that you're lonely because Lamar is off playing basketball. Honestly, it has nothing to do with Lamar. You're my sister. I want to spend quality time with my sister. That's what I want to do. You know what? Go have fun. Keep clicking on your sister and go be with Scott, Scott, Scott. Go have a great time. You're in a great mood. Glad you stopped by. Take your spray and then wind it around. Yeah. Yes, doll. This morning, I'm at a photo shoot with Kim, Chris, and Chloe for Famous Cupcakes. Chloe, how are you? I'm so nauseous. I have. I'm apolog... I don't know. If you throw up on me, though, I'll throw up on you back. But that could be a fun game. When I woke up this morning for the cupcake shoot, I was so nauseous. I don't even know how I'm going to do this shoot. Move this out and move this in and put that tear thing in the middle. Hold it. I 
have never had morning sickness in my life. The only time I've ever woken up and started throwing up in the morning was because I was drinking the night before, and I was not drinking the night before. You're fine. You need to get closer, okay, babe? Don't throw up on her, Chloe. She can. I'll just throw it back. How obvious can you be, Chloe? I mean, throwing up in the morning at a photo shoot, it's definitely morning sickness. Okay, let's do it. cute is it? We should have a picnic out here one day. Oh, let's, it will be so romantical. Today, I went to your rich soil site and every single item say that they're sold out. Don't you kind of feel like Jamie might be taking advantage of the situation, like that he's working for his best friend and... Maybe he didn't know that they were sold out. Uh, obviously, he has to know. But that's his job. I think he, right now he might be a little lazy, but I do think that it's due to him falling ill. People heal in different, in different times and different ways. I get it, but Sometimes I feel it like... Takes time. Jamie understands hard work. He's had a job on Wall Street. But um, Jamie, four years ago, had real serious stomach surgery. He lost 60 or 70 pounds. And um, there was a time we thought we might lose him. I think mentally that took him to a place where I don't know if he's still recovered. I, but, but are I, you going to say something to him about that? I mean, I'll say something to him. I think he can... In your, in your queen's way? I would say it to him in a real way, as a friend. I think I let Jamie figure things out on his own, because I know he knows how to execute and get things done. I've, I've seen him be disciplined. Your company, your buddy, don't want to rock the boat. I'm very grateful for that. And yeah, I listen. They're so cute sometimes. And I listen. I, I respect your opinion. Did you just diss my kiss? I was talking. <laughs> Baby, when do we have to be ready for turkey? No turkey. They came to an agreement last night. Who that? NBA and the union. Wow. What? Right? You must be relieved. We get to stay home. No matter what, I love you. Mm, I love you too. Mm. <laughs> but I'll follow you anywhere, Lamar. Yeah? My little lammy. Hey, what's going on? So, um, I've been dealing with, um, like this whole Kim thing. She was asking Rob to do her makeup for tomorrow, and what Kim doesn't understand, she needs to be on bed rest, and I just told, like, everything is authorized through me. Like, if I say no, she's not doing it, and that's what we've all agreed to. And, I already said she wasn't doing it. Well, now she says that she feels like she can do it, like she can't keep sitting in hair and makeup, putting on a pair of Spanx, she can't be in high heels, and she's not understanding what bed rest means, and something bad is going to happen if she doesn't take care of herself. Good decision. Thank you. Hello. Sorry, not sorry again. Hi. It's canceled for you. You're ridiculous. Who did you speak to? Mom, I took a survey. You're not allowed to be in high heels. You know what? You've never been pregnant, so you don't know. I haven't, but I do know what Courtney tells me, and I do know what the doctor said, and I do know what your mother said, who's had six kids, and I do know that you should be in bed. And just because you- I am in bed. I'm laying in bed right now. You're not working tomorrow. Okay, I'm gonna go watch TV. Hello? Kylie, just come here for oh, a minute. I'll do it later, Mom. No, no just leave. come here. I wanna show you something. Can you, you just go, can you just go get her and tell her to come here for one second so I can show her what my plan is to help Kylie. her in her life? Kyle's. What's wrong? Huh? Why? Because she just comes to my room and she uses everything I want to do so bad. She's crying, and I feel really bad. I'm sure. trying to help her. Ask her first before you get rid of her stuff. It's not your business to go in there and do it. It is my business as a parent to take care of my child. You know, Kim 
and Courtney constantly berate me for putting up with too much. You remember Courtney and Kim as teenagers? They were horrible. But they didn't have older siblings to play judgy-wudgy. Now Courtney wants to go green all of a sudden and act like she never did anything bad. I get Kylie lives in my mom's house, but I definitely don't think it's cool that my mom went through Kylie's room. Everyone needs a little bit of their privacy, and Kylie is a great kid. Chloe, I mean Chloe. Kylie, can I talk to you for She's one? She's naked! Okay, she needs to come out here and talk to me. Later! I have no power in this house. Hi. What are you doing? So this is the pig that is Kendall's friend that you said could pig? come stay. Remember when you said he could come stay here? I'm reading over all the information because now Kendall's not here and I don't know what to do with what it. What do you mean Kendall's not here? Where's Kendall? She's on that photo shoot in New York. Jen went with her. You had me book the whole thing. So who's taking care of the pig? Thanks so much again for watching Snow White. Don't know who else I would trust to do it for me. Have fun. Hello. Hamptons! So we'll get pee something. One of these, which one do you think? Because we're like yeah. in paradise. Perfect. OK. So we'll do this one. Well, I want to get her one thing and Mace one thing. He wants a dinosaur, though. OK. That's what he kept telling me. Do you want? He likes those hard ones. Oh. Okay, so let's get him a hard dinosaur. Yeah. This thing looks scary. Oh, Chloe, he loves these. Well, that's kind of a dinosaur. So which do you want, this thing or you that thing? You decide it's your present. Oh, the pressure. What is this? Pop guns? Are you done, Court, or you're still yeah. reliving your childhood? I was just looking. Clo, one more thing. Look, it's a little parachute guy. He could drop it off the balcony. Look what I got for P. No way. I've never uh, seen anything with her name on it. Thank you. Thank you guys thank you so guys. much. Bye. Mason is going to go crazy here. He's going to be so excited to come back. He's going to go, <gasps> OK, wait. <gasps> He's going to hyperventilate. I love when he does that, though. Yeah. But I feel like you finally are done. You're way closer to being over it. Or before I thought you were so into it. And I was like, oh God, because here we you go. Mistaken, you mistake my kindness for me going back with someone. You don't marry someone, and then you could cut them out of your life that easily. I care about Lamar, so I want the best for him. I just want the best for his well-being. Oh. I'll get you some napkins. It's all right. Please. It's all right. If this was anybody else, she would cuss them out. What the f Damn right. You have her wrapped around your little finger. Sauce all over her gray rug, and she doesn't even flinch. It's OK, Lammy. I got you. Has my mom ever gotten me a napkin, ever? No. Or got on her knees to clean up after us? Never. It's all right. How are the kids? He ain't so big. Right? Tall. Yeah, he played ball, so he just, you know, he in his own world. Have you tried to play basketball again, just for fun? Like dribble the ball or yeah. bounce it around for a minute? Mm-hmm. You know, Courtney has that basketball court. Yeah. Right down the street. Yep. I'm going to go to this um, training facility in Santa Barbara. A lot of pros and um, guys that would be pros work out there. Oh, really? Yeah. Basketball is obviously Lamar's passion and love. And anything that's positive and uplifting, I'm all for. But Lamar hasn't followed through recently with so many things. Like, I need to see some consistency and a little effort on Lamar's part. Going to a basketball camp is a big step. And I don't want to set him up for failure. And so you would just train? Yeah. That sounds really cool. Yeah, I'm looking forward to going. So the reality is you haven't had a chance to get pregnant. Mm -hmm. Okay. But what I want to do right now is um, do a quick ultrasound, okay? You want to come in to look at my uterus? Sure. I come here 
just to, like for a doctor's appointment, I have no idea I'm about to, you know, even get an ultrasound. Like this whole thing is just kind of snowballing and it's moving really fast for me. Chloe, all set? Hi, all set. All righty, okay. Just I remember down. this room. Her bottom is near the edge, okay? Keep I've your knees bent like cried that. many times in that chair. Perfect, okay. And you guys will see everything I see. Perfect. And what we're looking at yeah. is really, there's nothing that's gonna get in the way of a healthy pregnancy. Okay. Okay? Okay, so you're gonna feel a light touch, okay? Okay. And then a little bit of pressure. You okay? Mm hmm And that's it. What if he were to say I'm pregnant? I'm just I kidding. know, I was thinking <laughs> that. He's gonna say, oh, oh my God. Okay, here's your uterus. So if we're trying to get you pregnant, this is where we look forward to seeing a pregnancy. Okay. okay. And there's nothing there today. Okay. Okay. Ooh. All right, so lining measures five, please. Let me swing over to your other side. These are follicles, these old eggs. Mm -hmm. okay. So this is just giving an idea of how young your ovaries are. Okay. Are they young or old? There are fewer follicles than I anticipate for normal 32 year olds. Shut the up. This is definitely not at all how I thought this appointment was gonna go. What if I can't get pregnant? Oh, oh my god, I didn't get to tell you, Alexa. Mm. Um, I had Tristan come by yesterday. Tristan came over so we can get the whole initial weird first seeing each other out of the way in private. And I think that was probably the smartest thing. It was pretty awkward, but I just feel like it would be weird if he saw True for the first time at her first birthday. It's just weird. Yeah, was it? Um, it was fine. I mean, at first, if we were, like, literally, like, he texted me, he was like, I'm here, and, like, I brought True to the door to answer, like, but she was so excited. It was so, really cute. She was really excited. Like, jumping in my arms, like, when she saw him, it was oh really cute. God. And then, literally, he was just kind of, like, lingering, and I was like, so are you gonna, like, put her to sleep tonight? Like, and he stayed to put her to bed? Yes, but with intention to see me, because then he was like, so do you want it? Like, do I have a glass of wine? And I'm like, it must say, dumb whore on my forehead totally. and he was like no it doesn't and then he was like can I have a hug and I like one arm hugged him and he was like one a one-handed hug I was like yeah he's that's, lucky I was like that's nice enough and then he tried to like kiss me and I go you I go this is the problem with you you can't just like take what you get whatever and then this morning he was like thank you for letting me see true she looks great you look even better I just want him to know, I'm inviting you because you're True's dad and I do believe you should be there and I think that's the best choice for True. That's really it. And I don't want him to take it the wrong way because sometimes I feel like if I give an inch, he takes a mile and he'll take my kindness for a weakness sometimes and I don't want that. So tell me now how the Dash has got involved with the, uh, with the uh, silly brand. I love them. I think they're fun and my little sisters love them. So everyone that sees your life thinks it's all, you know, so great and perfect. What worries you? My weight. Because every single day of my life, someone will point it out for me like, yeah. oh, she's gained weight or is she pregnant or is she this? Even if I'm as skinny as I, I've been lighter than I am now and I was still never good enough for everybody. Full stretch. I got it. Go. Morning. Beast it up. Beast it up. 15. Oh, hi, see through. Harvest Moon. That ass is out. Harvest Moon. <laughs> oh. So, G, how much did you miss me? I just started to, but then you walked in and quelled. I thought you were going to tell me tears. It. There were tears earlier. All right, you're here. I know you're kind of out of breath, but I'm sure you can listen. You have a little bit of a fiasco going on with your Dash dolls. Roya was telling me. Malika and Khadija have been spending more and more time at the Dash store in Melrose. It's become more of like a sorority house than a workplace. Dash employees, we call them. The Dash dolls are starting to get very high school to me, very mean girls-ish. It's like Durrani doesn't get along with Jessica. Why are She gets in a fight with Jessica, then Durrani doesn't come to work the next day. Dude, they could all be friends, but when you get to work, you get to work. They all have to learn how to work together. We're thinking of taking them on a retreat or like a dash boot camp or something. When you're at my store, 
You need to act as you're working for us, and this is our brand, and you need to represent us appropriately. Drive and hold. Yep. Stay in the heels. This has got to be the most interesting machine you have here. Boom. Amazing. Oh, I love it. I'm really impressed with your self-control. I think Thank it's you. really good. It shows me that you are possibly thinking of changing a lifestyle. It's going to take a lot of work, but this is going to work. We just won't eat. Okay. I'll, here, I'll eat before I see you. Okay. That's good. Perfect. That's a great compliment. That's like a good compromise. Because when I'm fed, I'm like an animal. So when you feed me, I'm like good after. Kim! Hey! By the way, this is pretty good for a food, somebody that eats 365 meals a day. Totally, but... Come on, this is like... But you could, if you worked out... I do work out. I'm starting to. You start, and then you stop, no, and no, you're no. like... I have not stopped, by the way. I go to the gym. All you do is walk up and down hills. You're like a 97-year-old granny. I'm... Up and down. All Every morning, I'm in New York. Okay. I say, here we go. I'm going walking. Okay, you guys, I'm going to go on a long walk. Here I go. Okay. Every morning, okay. I'm like, where's the I, exercise? Morning, I want to see the Golden Girls up and down the hill. Let's go right now. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's I have heels, so you're gonna, go. I'm going to drive you. Drop That's fine. you off. I don't care. Let's go. Ready to get out at the stop sign? What do you mean? This is the hill? Yeah, get out. How far? Not even a mile. I'm not walking a mile. Get out. I'm not walking you're, a mile. Get out. You're going to walk at least a little bit. Fine. Sprint to this light pole, so sprint one. All right, one. let's go. Come on. Good job. OK, then you can walk now. From this light pole, just keep walking. This is great for your ass. So then what I do is I do lunges. So lunge from one pole to well, the next. I don't next. know what that means. Lunge, like like a lunge. Like a lunge? Like, like you're bending down, like. <laughs> is that a lunge? <laughs> one knee forward, yeah. But like, you need way better form. OK, I'm done. Nope. At least halfway. This is not halfway. No. <laughs> no, you thick bitch. And you're calling what? me the Golden Girls. I hate you. Hello, girls. Good. Good to see you. Welcome to our house. I've invited the twins over for dinner at my house with my wife, Kerry, and I because I want them to get that feel and that sense of a family environment. Do you guys like fish? No. Same. <laughs> <laughs> my boyfriend liked it. Did he? And he's looking at me, he goes, Amber, you have a bite left. And I was like, I know, I know. I was like, I could just shove it in his throat so you can have it because it's supposed to be good, you know? So it how are you going with the support of your boyfriend? He's good. He helps me cook because I don't know what I'm doing. So I'm telling you, you need support in this game for it to work. Ashley, what about you? Is your boyfriend as supportive as Amber's is? Um, no, not really. Sorry, I'm gonna cry. It's all right. I don't know why I just got emotional. It's okay. <laughs> um, when it comes to my diet, he's he's not. You know, the first night that we worked out with you, he was cooking a steak, and obviously I can't have steak. Um, and he was like, "Oh, look at this," and he like. Did he put it in my face or like close to it? Yeah. And I was like, well, that's not nice. You know, it sucks because I've been with him for five years, so I've just become accustomed to it. I don't know. I just think it's because I don't have anybody there for me. So I kind of just. What you do now. I know. Because we're here for you. Obviously, your sister's here for you. It hurts that he wasn't supportive. And it's like thinking in my mind, like, why am I with someone that's not supportive? But it sucks talking about him like that. That's the thing that hurts me the most because that's who I love and that's who I'm with. It's all right, babe, we're here for you. Watching other couples dancing, of course, I'm always going to think about Andres. I didn't know it was going to be this difficult. Yes, new beginning. 
Carolina is allowed to have one drink tonight. A little tequila, never hurt anybody. It's low calorie, she's good. Having men come up to me and flirt with me, it almost like if I'm cheating. I am super proud of her for coming out. She's being really brave. I hope that she keeps doing it, but having to let go enough to enjoy and laugh, that's hard. Simone Delarue, creator of Body by Simone. Body by Simone is a dance-based fitness workout. I created this program seven years ago after dancing on Broadway in the West End. It was time for me to hang up my dancing heels and I wanted to segue into fitness. Hi. <laughs> oh my God. I cannot believe it, I'm so excited. Simone was the trainer that I wanted I prayed for because of course she came from dance. Chloe tells me that you were a dancer. Yes. I'm so excited, finally I get a dancer. Yay! <laughs> Once upon a time and I want to do it again. You want to get you it know? back? Absolutely. Yeah. All right, well, I would love you to dance for me right now. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I would do what I would even do. This is not what I expected today. This is like a solo that I did a long time ago. <laughs> Forget it. Oh, it's so bad. I can't even leap. How many did you used to be able to do? If we were in class, you know, 30. Yeah. So, Annie, I want to know what happened to this girl. Why did you let them dance? Uh, I don't know if it was fear of failing. Are you afraid of failure? It's like I don't want to let them down. Your dad? Right. Uh, but I feel like by not dancing anymore at all, yeah. that's like what I'm doing. Oh, that's so bad. Did you come to LA to dance? I came here because I was in a relationship. Not long after we were here, things just weren't working. Like, do you want to get revenge on him? Yes. I mean, it made me feel like if you have to look at other people, like, what about me is not pleasing enough for you? That makes you feel so worthless. So totally. I'm just like thinking about this totally. like in the end and I'm like, oh my gosh, like what am I gonna look like and like, you know, all this stuff. It's just totally different. For me, it's like I literally forget yeah. everyone's here, but I know how awkward that is. And I have friends who are real actresses yeah. and they can shoot a movie or a TV show, but they can't do reality. Don't be so hard on yourself. Yeah. You know, and yeah. this is very minor, but I wanted to give you oh my when I don't <laughs> feel good in the gym, <laughs> something that, this is so silly, but something that does motivate me to want to work out uh -huh. is when you look cute in right. workout clothes. So I wanted <laughs> to give you, you a bunch of good American oh athletic God, stuff. So all Yay. your sizes. It's, <laughs> Thank hope you. you enjoy it. Yes, oh my God, that's if so If you need cool. sizes swapped out, okay. let me know. Thank you. But I always feel good when I look good of in the course. gym, right? <laughs> yeah. We're still Thank girls you so at the end much. of the day. That's so nice. <laughs> but, I hope that you become more and more comfortable mm -hmm. on camera and I think maybe if you're focusing too much on what people are thinking of yeah. you, like you're on the, you're in your own head. Right. I'm trying to like learn to love myself along the process mm -hmm. and it's like a whole, it's something I've just never like paid attention to so it's just a lot of change. It's a lot of change yeah. at one time. Right. But if we don't have it all up here and if we don't feel strong with who we are mm -hmm. and then what's it all for just because we right. look good? Right. Who cares at the end of the day. Yeah. 
Well, thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you. it. <laughs> I'm sorry you're having a hard time. Okay. No, thank you. But I'm it so makes excited. It's more rewarding when you yes. get when you accomplish it. You've got to keep chugging along, huh? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna try our best. <laughs>